to switch over and let's grab the section that has all of the big giant synth sounds in it, which would be right about here. And let's go ahead and hit play. Let's go ahead and we'll drop in that massive distorted synth sound. So I'm going to solo just my bass. I'll bring it back down just a little bit. And let's bring this back in. Now this is something we hear early on the song, just by itself. I'm listening to this and there's not much else going on, so in this section we're probably going to have to automate this up a little bit. But what I want to focus on is, I want to find the beefiest parts of the song, the song that has the most activity and focus on those first. Once I have those set, if I have to make any changes in, in terms of automating the, those sounds, I will. Uh, but in, but in, basically, you know, you're, you're, you're finding your static pass, your, your starting point where, uh, you want to, where you want your mix to begin. Now, in, in this instance, I'm going to go ahead and bust these out as well to uh, all these distorted parts. We'll bust them. I'm going to put them on bus 13 and 14, and, uh, and then I'll use a, com a bus compressor on that. So if we go over to aux, input bus 13 and 14. Incidentally, you can solo save something. You notice if I hold down the command key and I click on the solo button, notice how it gets grayed out. Uh, what this does is, if I, if I solo something that's routed to that bus, I'm able to hear it. As long as I have a track that's solo that's being routed to it, we're able to hear it. That's the whole point of it. Now, another thing I want to point out, let's listen to this, uh, I want to bypass the EQ for a second. Let's with it on, off, 